uh, colleagues, um, let me apologize because I have a commitment, um, um, a prior meeting, um, so I have to leave, but I will be asking um, Ambassador Ulibarri and um, Ambassador Loga to continue with the consultations. Um, in the interest of transparency, let me just read out the list of those who will be invited to take the floor. They are the representative of the Asian region, Russian region, permanent forum, and North America from the indigenous people. And then at the end, we will hear from the Assistant Secretary General for Human Rights, Mr. Sivanovich. <clears throat> Before leaving though, I think it behooves me to address a couple of points. First, on what has been thrown around as the intergovernmental aspect of what we're doing. These are informal consultations. They are intended to hear from you, all stakeholders, member states, um, indigenous people, UN system, for me to hear from you in a transparent way what your views are on what should be the contents of the outcome document. I think it would be somewhat deceptive if an outcome document suddenly materialize out of thin air. That is not the purpose. That is not what is anticipated either by the letter or spirit of 66296. I think it is important that all of you hear each other, what each other have to say, not me running off to some meeting elsewhere and coming back with a wealth of ideas. First question I'd be asked is, where did you get them? So the purpose of these consultations, and they're informal in nature, um, is to hear from you in an open forum what your views are on what should constitute the outcome document. Nothing that's happening in this room is, can be considered an antithesis of any UN procedure. In other words, the intergovernmental nature of the General Assembly is not at stake here, and that is my humble view. Um, two of you have alluded to the stages envisaged in 66296. That is, what happens before and what happens when it comes to the decision time. And I think I'd like to thank the delegations of China and Norway on this to clarify that. We will come, there will come a time when a decision will be needed and where member states will be involved. And it's true, we, can, we must adhere to the strictures set out in the General Assembly resolution. So again, this is why I'm saying we need not get into a discussion on what the resolution says. It is clear to everyone. What I need to hear from you are your views, and I intend to do so in a transparent manner, so that when you see the draft outcome document, you would know where the ideas came from and not something I cocked up. So I thought I'd make that clear before I leave. Thank you very much. This has been very helpful, and I turn it over to my two colleagues.